Hey guys, today we have huge news in the Helium 5G space. Nova Labs and T-Mobile have come to an agreement. I'm Austin Jones, the social media manager of Rockland Technologies, and today I have our CEO, Jason Opdyke, to talk more in detail about this agreement. Hey, Jason. Hey, Austin. Yeah, we're going to go over some of the winners and losers of this agreement, but before we get to that, let's break down what this agreement actually is. So this is an MVNO agreement between Nova Labs, which is Helium 5G, and T-Mobile basically means that Nova Labs will be buying wholesale data from T-Mobile and they're gonna be offering that data to their own customers of their new service called Helium Mobile. So Helium Mobile is basically going to allow subscribers to get access to T-Mobile's nationwide network, but also access data through Helium's own 5G hotspot. So they're more than just an MVNO. Uh, Nova Labs is also gonna have access to reselling hardware and services on the T-Mobile network as well. So that's something to keep an eye on uh, going forward. Well, that seems like a decent enough agreement to me, but who, who would you say are the real winners and losers here? That's a good question. Without a doubt, the real big winner here is going to be T-Mobile. T-Mobile is leading right now in the 5G race. They've blown past Verizon. You can see this in the trajectory of both companies' stocks. This is huge, huge news for T-Mobile. What they're going to be doing here is it's another MVNO for them, but it's one that's going to bring way more subscribers to the table. They're getting instant revenue. It's a five-year plan, and they're going to be wholesaling data to Nova Labs. Labs. So that's instant revenue for T-Mobile's. It's also going to add to the subscriber base. It might cannibalize some of the other T-Mobile MVOs a little bit, but overall, Helium's going to bring way more from other service providers over to the T-Mobile network with this new crypto-based service. So T-Mobile comes away as a huge, huge winner today. Well, what about uh, Nova Labs and Helium? Are, are they winners as well? You know, I've looked through the data. I've gone through what some of the skeptics are saying. I've read a lot of the articles, press, re press releases from both companies. And I've got to tell you, Nova Labs also comes away today as a winner. Critics will tell you that it's just an MVNO agreement and it's going to cost Helium money. In other words, they're going to be giving money to T-Mobile. And that's correct, Austin. But what is wholesale data? What does wholesale mean? That's data that's going to be resold at a higher price. So what T-Mobile or what Helium is doing what Nova Labs is doing is they're actually giving a legitimate service now to their users to their new subscribers of Helium Mobile they're gonna be buying this T-Mobile data they're gonna be reselling that and let me put it this way Austin if you were out there shopping for a new 5G carrier right now would you want to sign up with Nova Labs if all they could offer you was data over the 4,000 or so current uh, 5G hotspots that are out there of course not. So what Helium, what Nova Labs, the way they've won today is that they now have a legitimate service to offer people. You can get data through their hotspots, but you're also going to get data on the T-Mobile nationwide network. There's just no question that this is more than an MVNO agreement and Nova, Lakes, Nova Labs comes up big today. Okay, so we're seeing that T-Mobile and Nova Labs are both winners in this situation, but what about the people? This is, after all, the people's network. Well, that's probably why most of our viewers tune in today to find out what does it mean for the meat and potatoes, for the bread and butter, for the people that actually own Helium 5G hotspots. Do they come away a winner? This is a little bit more difficult to say. Um, unlike T-Mobile, they don't make any immediate revenue off of this. However, they will be getting more data usage. If you're a hotspot owner, how are you going to make money off of your hotspot? You need to have data packets coming through that hotspot. And with just limited sporadic access on the Helium 5G network, you're not going to get very many rewards past the genesis period. But now you're going to have a nationwide access of customers that yes, they're going to be offloading a lot of that data onto the T-Mobile network. But when they do come in range of your hotspot, you're going to get that data. Somebody's now going to sign up for the service. And when they come by your hot concert hall, your venue, your gym, wherever you have your 5G hotspot deployed, that data is going to go through Helium's network instead of T-Mobile and you're going to get more rewards. Look, Austin, we still don't know that much about rewards beyond the Genesis period. We don't know what the HNT equivalent is going to be, what the mobile uh, conversion is going to be, how much money we're going to get. But I can tell you without a doubt that hotspot owners would be worse off without this agreement. Okay, so you're saying T-Mobile, Nova Labs, and the people are all winning in some type of way, but is, is anyone losing? You know, I don't see any real losers in this agreement, although you could look at the competition. This definitely gives Nova Labs a leg up. Now, I personally think that this 5G space is more of a marathon than a sprint. So I think there's plenty of time and opportunities for other competitors like Paul and Mobile to have a good go at it. There's going to be other MVNO agreements. And as far as I could see, there's no exclusivity, meaning that other operators could potentially even partner with T-Mobile. However, this is a major leap forward for Helium. And Austin, what it does is it also shows this has 
been a long-term strategy of the Nova Labs founders. Some critics will say that Helium was kind of pivoting off of the LoRa, but we can see with this agreement, they had a clear-cut strategy to build both networks, and they really have executed that strategy well to grow out this 5G network. They're bringing Helium Mobile Service, which is now a plausible com com competitive service to any other MVNO or carrier. It's something that's going to attract a lot of business based on the low prices that Helium can offer. And Helium's premise has always been, go talk to the Gristle King, he'll tell you, he says this a lot, Helium's premise has always been access to cheap data, and this is right in line with that strategy. I love this agreement for T-Mobile, I love this agreement for Nova Labs, I love this agreement for hotspot owners, and for competitors, it does give them a little bit of reason to worry, but there's still plenty of time for them to do some work as well. Well, thank you, Jason. This this does really seem like a great agreement all around. It seems like the people are going to benefit Nova Labs and T-Mobile. Um, I guess the next thing I have is just to ask the people what they think about it. You know, this is the People's Network. We want to hear what you guys have to say on YouTube. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on this uh, this new partnership and what you think. Uh, is it good for Helium? Is it bad? Do you not sure? Um, hopefully we cleared some things up, but you know, we appreciate all you guys watching. Absolutely. And Austin, just to reiterate, it is a five-year agreement, so it's going to be interesting as time goes on to see how accurate some of these predictions are. Overall, with that five-year agreement, though, it says that T-Mobile and Helium both have a lot going on in the 5G space.